Hello everyone, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel. I am here today with another cross stitch update and it has been a really long time since my last update video. I think my last update was like the middle to end of April and it is now currently the middle of June. So yeah, it's not stitching as much as I had been before because my kids were doing schooling from home and things were just a lot different. But I will show you what I got done and I'm hoping now that it's summer and we don't have to do schooling anymore that I will have a little bit more time for cross stitching. So uh, at the after my last video I was still working on Castles in the Air by Long Dog Samplers. I will insert here where it was in my last video. And I was uh, still trying to finish another page before Mania started. So I was stitching on this page here, the middle page on the top row, and I got that finished. And now there are only two pages left, and then this will be a finish. So I am stitching this on 18 count Huntress from Picture This Plus, and I am using Silks For You PR053, and I am stitching it with one strand over one. I am hoping to have this finished by my birthday in July because I finished Death by Cross Stitch last year in July, so I would kind of, I want to have another Long Dog Sampler finish in my birthday month. So that is my plan. So I will be stitching on this hopefully next week because June's almost over. We are almost at July. It's practically here. I need to move my little butt. Okay. So after I finished my page on Castles in the Air, I decided I wanted to work on a full coverage chart. So I pulled out one of my Heaven and Earth charts. I pulled out Super Size Max Color uh, Eternal Promise by Matt Stewart. And here is where it was when I pulled it out, and this was the progress that I made on it. I only worked on it for like, I think, two or three days. It wasn't that many days. And I am stitching this on 28 count, easy count fabric, one over one full cross. And I decided that because I'm using Pattern Keeper, I wanted to stitch cross country and stitch my way over to the people because I don't want to be stitching background forever because this is a huge chart because it's a super size and there is a lot of background. There is a lot of like this border here and there is a lot of like trees and stuff that are not going to be as fun to stitch on. So that was what I did on that. And then that took me to May. So for Mania this year, I decided to do Mirabilia Mania, and I only have one Mirabilia chart, so it was pretty obvious that I was going to be stitching on Alice by Mirabilia. I started Alice on Christmas of 2019, so Christmas last year, and here's where I was when I started working on it on May 1st, and here is where she is now. I wanted to have this finished in May, but like I said, I only stitched on it for like two weeks and then I just stopped stitching. So I still need to finish the bottom half of her skirt and then do the beading and then it will be done. I am stitching this on 28 count flapper, two over two full cross because that is what the directions say, so yes. And then I still want to get it finished this year, so I'm going to be keeping this out and hopefully stitching on it to get this finished in the next couple months. So there she is. I love this so much. So much. And then... So that was all that I stitched on. And so my plans going forward for the end of June is I want to stitch on Castles in the Air by Long Dog Samplers. I want to keep stitching on Alice. And then I also pulled out another chart that I want to have finished this year, and I just want to mostly focus on stitching on charts that I want to have finished this year. So another chart that I want to have finished this year is Mini Home is Where the Magic is by Randall Spangler, which is a Heaven and Earth Designs chart. And here is where it is right now. And I just want to keep pulling this out as much as I can to get this finished. Because it's a mini, there are not that many stitches in it, so it shouldn't take me that long, hopefully, if I just keep working on it. And then, yes. So, oh, this is being stitched on, what is this, 28 count, even weave, 2 over 1, tent stitch. And I am stitching this now. I started this chart um, stitching more just across the top row, filling in all the colors. And 
after I got Pattern Keeper, I decided I would switch to doing uh, Extreme Cross Country by Color. So now I am color completing a color throughout the chart before moving on to the next color. So there's that. And that is all of my cross stitching stuff, except for purchases. I did have purchases. I ended up purchasing, what was the chart? Santa's Workshop color expansion. So the color expansion has, I think, 140 something colors, whereas the max color normally has like 200 plus colors. So I got the color expansion one, not the max color. And that is a Thomas Kincaid chart and I'll have it inserted here. And I ordered the floss for that chart, but I ended up ordering CXC floss and not DMC because I want to try CXC and see how it is. I ordered CXC for Santa's workshop and I ordered it for Christmas 2 by Cyril Marchetti, which is a chart that I had gotten previously from the Heaven and Earth Finish Reward Program. So if you had finished a chart in the previous year, they would send you a free chart. And I'll insert here what that chart looks like. And so I am still waiting on the floss for that, but that was like, I think 300 skeins of floss is coming, but it's still not here yet. I really want that order of floss to get here. And then I also ordered, what did I order? Oh, I got a K's Creation lap stand for Mother's Day. I ordered it for myself. Thank you. I am very kind to myself. And so yeah, I've been enjoying that. I like it. I thought about making a video showing using it because I looked for videos before I got it and there are videos of like flowers and stuff but there are not as many videos that I could find of the K's Creation lap stand and I before I ordered it I just wanted to see how it worked with Q-snaps but I could not find a lot of videos of people showing Q-snaps in it and it works. I have a picture that I will insert showing the K's uh, Creation lap stand with a 11 by 17 q snap it fits it works i wasn't sure if it would be too large to have 11 an 11 by 17 q snap in it but it was good so i think that is all i purchased so now it's like a clean slate going forward you have seen what i have done and hopefully i will be making uh more like regular update videos because it's really hard to remember what you were doing almost two months ago so that is all. Thank you everyone for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I will try and be back on a more consistent basis, but we will see what happens. So bye everyone.